Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says replace the force acting on the frame by an equivalent resultant force on a couple moment acting at point A. So point A is right here. And to replace by the equivalent resultant force and couple moment, first we need to find the sum of all the forces. To find the sum of all the forces, I like to break down all the forces into x and y components. So assuming this is x and this is y, you know that it's 300 newton force has this x component and this y component. This 500 newton force has only an x component and the 400 newton force has only a y component. So the sum of the forces is equals the sum of the forces in the x plus the sum of the forces in the y. Sum of the forces in the x is equal to the, let's call this F1, so F1x plus the F2 and F3 does not affect does not affect because it's only on the y-axis so that will be 300 newtons times the cosine of 30 plus the 500 newtons that is F2x that amounts to 759 0.81 newtons. Some of the forces on the y is equal to F1 y component and it's going down and minus F3 because it's also going down be the y component. So this is negative 300 newtons times the sine of 30 minus 400 newtons and that is equal to minus 550 newtons. So the resultant force the magnitude is equal to the x component square plus the y component square, all square rooted. And that is equal to 937.98 newtons. Now the angle, which we're going to call theta, is fine by calculating the tangent inverse of the y over the x component. It's important that when you plug in the y, you plug it in with the negative sign. And this is the x component. And this will give you negative 35.9 degrees. So the resultant force is equal to 937.98 newtons at an angle of negative 35.9 degrees or some places make you always have a positive angle so when you have this is the x-axis and this is positive so this would be negative 35.9 degrees and it's the same as saying 324.1 degrees and you get this number by doing 360 degrees minus 35.9 so some other places might actually ask you to show the final answer like this 324.1 degrees Now the sum of the moments around point O is very easy to calculate. 
so you gotta calculate the arm which is 0.5 times only the x component of this force the y component is not created in any moment because it's coming directly from the point same thing for the arm up until this 500 newton meter which is 1.5 meters and then you gotta calculate this arm which is 0.5 meters so those are the three forces created in a moment so let me write them down here assuming counterclockwise is positive the sum of the moments around A is equal to the x component of the first force which is 300 newtons times the cosine of 30 times the arm which is 0.5 and that would be this arm and that would be positive because it's creating a counter clockwise motion. The second one is 500 times 1.5 which is this 500 newton medium force times this length which is the length of this piece and it's also creating a counter clockwise movement so it's positive as well and the last one is minus 400 times 0.5 which is this force right here times this lever arm which is creating a negative one a negative uh, motion uh, how do you call it a clockwise motion therefore it's negative so by plugging all these numbers in and putting it all together you're gonna get that the force is 679.9 newton meters you get the newtons from the force and the meters from the distances. It is positive, therefore the force is going counterclockwise. So final answer and final answer for the resultant force which I would let you leave it like that if I was your teacher but some teachers also ask you to have a positive.